Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so it's a few minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, everybody knows that my family has been through a lot this year, especially starting from last year. So, last year we lost a brother, I went home to visit, and they found his body on the street. So till today, we don't know who killed him, what happened to him. Um, so we started by going to New Jersey for his um, one year anniversary. Well, I guess before that, it was a 60th birthday of my million older brother in New York. We did that. We came back, we went back for um, my cousin, my brother, who came to one year anniversary. Um, we did that. We came back, and <coughs> before then, as I'm trying to run this little business of mine, um, I guess um, the state workman's comp picked me up and um, sent me a bill for 13000 something, and I'm like, where are we going to get that kind of money? <laughs> so I'm talking to people, they go, oh, no, 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 I feel it, I feel it is too much money. So I listened, I appealed. They audited me, it became 20,000. Oh, oh. <laughs> it became 20,000. Yeah, and 20,000, they're demanding I pay right away or this or that or garnishment and blah, blah, blah. And I told them, um, I don't have 20,000. And, um, you know, they, they went into my accounts, they did all kinds of stuff with me. And uh, finally, I was able to speak to, all along, I was speaking to women. I was able to speak to a guy, and um, he said, Ma'am, what can I do for you? I said, I don't have 20,000. He said, How much do you have? I said, I hardly have anything. So he said, um, I'm going to give you six months to pay. I'm like, I can't do this in six months. He said, That's what you can do six months. I said, Okay. So every month, I'm, give, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying. I'm paying. And then in the midst of this, all of this will happen. It's just spend money here, you spend money there, and I'm like, so you didn't ask yourself, is this really what I'm doing? Why am I doing this? And um, finally, um, I think I gave the last check this month of the $20,000 that I got audited for. And as I was writing last month, I paid it there, as I was look. What was the pay last night? So I was writing that check, and then, of course, my baby brother, the call came, and that was the biggest. That was the biggest pain ever. And um, here we are again. We have to, we all have to go. And, you know, we went. And everyone knows that going to Nigeria and coming back is not, um, it's not an easy task. I'm thinking, okay, so how do I do this again? And then I like, mommy, I have to go, I have to go. I have to go. Do we have to go? He said, well, we have to go. When I was like, just calling Nigeria, he was this, he was that, da, 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 da. And I understood what she said. So somehow, um, we were able to do all that. And um, by the grace of God, um, we were able to do it successfully. I'm still angry somehow. But, you know, they tell you, don't question God and do this, don't do that. And um, so today, we're here. So many challenges will come. The year 2016 has been a very challenging year in my life. In my life. And um, I thank God still. My girls did their two trips. And every time they go, my heart is hanging. Because you hear all these things. Crazy people everywhere. There's no place that's really, really safe anymore. Yes, he just said no, you know, and um, so um, what is my story? It's just that um, as things are short in your, in, your, in your way, this journey of life, you don't know how much strength you have. So you, you learn to be stronger, you learn to support, surround yourself with people that have the same type of vision that you have, you learn to surround yourself with people that are positive in your life. Um, because it's easy, it's really, really easy to pull somebody down, you know, and um, then to grow or to praise. 
or to support or to show appreciation, to be sensitive, to be, you know, giving. So um, this year has been a year of, um, and I've told God, I tell him all the time, um, it's been a hard hurdle. And for my family, I told him, he's taken enough. We're tired, we are burned out. I am physically and mentally drained. So, um, but I thank God. I was, I was on my bed on, when did you guys come back? On Tuesday. And I kept saying, okay, and one more day, two more days, and they will be back. And then, you know, I had the dog slammed so I'm like, oh, is that? And then he says, oh, it's Goki. I'm like, why is Goki still home? Should I be now walk by now? It's almost, it's almost 10 o'clock. Right? So I'm like, no. So I got up and I came out. I didn't say no, but I saw a luggage. And I'm like, ah, where did the luggage come from? So there was a light in the bathroom. So I knocked on the door and then I said, hi, mom. I'm like, ah. And I'm like, oh my God, my guests are back, my guests are back. So it's like the joy, the relief, the everything. You know, so I really, 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 really thank God. This year, um, we made it through this year. And I believe that the sorrows in my family is over. The pain is over. Um, it's time to celebrate. So far today, I thank God for